Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here and I'm back in one of my favorite places. I say this all the time, but this time I'm here at Hudson Valley Motorcycles in New York, near New York City. And I'm here to pick up my 2021 Kawasaki ZX-10R. Yes, that's right. If you saw my last video, I was thoroughly impressed with the 2019 KRT edition ZX-10 that I rode. And I told you, if they made the changes that I was looking for to the motorcycle, I would take delivery and being a man of my word, I'm picking up my bike here today. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. There it is. Looks even more beautiful in person than it does in the pictures. You really have to love that beautiful front end of this innovative motorcycle. They've done something that no other bike has done before by putting those beautiful aerodynamic winglets at the very front underneath the light emitting diode headlights of this beautiful, beautiful machine. You can pretty much stick your finger through that beautiful winglet there. It's not obnoxious. You really can't tell that it's there, but I'm sure it is very effective on the roads. Just look at this thing. So many changes done to this motorcycle. We're gonna have a chat with my good buddy, Corey Alexander and he's gonna kind of go over with us some of the changes this motorcycle has endured. Corey, good to see you again, my what's good buddy. Going on? Hey, what's How up, man? You? Thanks How for the bike. Yeah, thanks for uh, making the trip out to see us here in New York. It's my know, pleasure, it's, uh, man. A little chilly, not <laughs> ideal weather, it's raining. At least it's <laughs> no. not snowing though, right? It could be not snowing. Yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's exciting, new, uh, new ZX-10. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it, how it compares to, I see you set up a 2016 Z right next to it. How does this bike compare and what's been changed? Yeah, so uh, from the previous generation, which would have been the 2020, uh, there's, there's a lot on the outside, a little bit on the inside, but uh, obviously the biggest thing is, is the body work, which people are going crazy over. Yes. Uh, you got the integrated wings, 17% uh, more downforce is what they say, which, you know, as a racer like myself, it makes a big difference yes. for guys that like to go fast in a straight line and uh, don't want a wheelie. Uh, that'll make a big, big difference, obviously. A little bit taller of a windscreen, which me and you were big guys, so yes, that's, that's definitely that. helpful too. Uh, they move the bars forward, which also, again, I know that was like the first thing you said was they actually made it comfy for us, which yes. is which is great. Um, other big thing, they went to a ride by wire electronic system, which allowed them to integrate their their cruise control and and some of their other features, which is really really cool to kind of bump the bike into a little bit more of a premium category like the rest of the other bikes in the in the segment uh i've got the full digital DF, tft display now oh Ship gosh on top. that was greatly yeah, needed, man. yeah so you can see uh now you got that beautiful uh watermark from uh from kawasaki the heavy industries logo um but yeah i mean i, I think it's kind of just all these little things have kind of elevated the bike to that next next level um otherwise you know the motor is, is very similar to what it was they didn't change a whole lot on the r the r got some upgrades but on the r specifically uh Motor's pretty much the same. They lengthen the swing arm, so that'll help. Again, that's kind of like a racing-derived uh, change, which uh, a lot of times, you know, a little bit longer of a bike, a little more stability, things like that. And then they change the front of the bike too, so there's oh, some yeah. more trail, which if you guys aren't familiar, like trail numbers, basically changes how much the, the bike is able to turn, how quickly it turns and things like that. Another racing-derived thing, but people for the street, that'll just, you know, give them a little bit more of a sporty kind of feel, so. Yes. Um, all in all, it's just, it's just refined. You know, I don't think Kawasaki makes huge, big, big, bold changes. Yes. Uh, for Kawasaki, this is a bold change, but I think it's just a, you know, another step in a, in a really, really good package. Obviously, they won the world championship the last five years or something. So yeah. the, bike's, uh, the bike's pretty dominant and uh, it's even better this year, so. I wanna go over some of the differences between the older generation Gen 5 ZX-10 and the new ZX-10, the gauges totally different they're finally gone away from this old school looking gauge cluster this tachometer was extremely busy and very hard for me at least to figure out how to use especially when doing smackdowns and riding aggressively if we stroll over here to the new bike we can clearly see that that was one of the things that kawasaki wanted to address now we have beautiful thin film transistor gauges tachometer looks outstanding different riding modes, gear indicator prominently placed at the top left where it should be. And then you can tell when you're in neutral as well. You get all your warning array of lights down there too. And it's just beautiful. But look at the fit and finish of this. When they come out with a beautiful carbon fiber option for plastic pieces like this, that's gonna be absolutely outstanding because then you'll be able to glance at carbon fiber when you're on the bike. But 
Speaking of being on the bike, what a difference this bike has made in the area of ergonomics and comfort, especially for tall guys like me. Six foot three, 225 pounds. And now when I'm on this bike, very, very comfortable. You can tell the front cowl has been raised. It's larger, taller than the previous gen. And once there's a aftermarket windscreen option, hopefully from our good friends at WRS, that's gonna improve upon that even better than this. Wow, as I look at this cockpit of the bike, I see elements from the Ninja H2. I mean, I see um, the, the brake reservoir is now in a tinted, beautiful, beautiful reservoir to help keep that fluid life longer. Um, you can see the river mark icons all over the place. Just looks really, really great. Cruise control, the dials are really, they seem to be very easy to use. Wow. Really, really, really cool bike. I can't wait to ride this thing here in Charlotte and really put it to the test. Blue skies and warm temperatures here in sunny Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're about to do some riding on these awesome bikes. I'm about to get my first ride impressions on the ZX-10R 2021 model. And of course, we want to put it up against the beautiful 2021 CBR 1000 Triple R Fireblade SP. Boosted Catfish is going to discipline all of us on the Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. Our good buddy Mac from Mac and GTV is gonna ride one of his favorite bikes, the new Honda. He used to have a Honda back in the day, so I think he's pretty excited. And so am I. Hmm. Oh man, I love the feeling of this bike. Really is nice for my size. Yeah, it definitely has that new bike smell that I love. Yeah. And a very, very comfy riding position. I can clearly see that. But now I gotta scuff these tires in. Only six miles on a motorcycle. Well, boosted catfish is already gone. Wow! <laughs> I remember this feeling. This is a feeling I had when I initially rode, believe it or not, my Kawasaki. Wow, Ninja H2! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't feel much restrictions on this bike at all, really! Wow! Oh my goodness! I'm not sure if Kawasaki is restricting this motorcycle! The gearing, oh, cops. <laughs> the gearing's nice. Not super tall. It's more of a standard type of gearing. Wow. So far I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with this bike. And I think this, this is gonna be a sick bike, guys. This bike is gonna Wow, retake its crown that it had years ago, from 2004 to, I don't know, 2010. Yeah, I do know. From 2004 to 2010, this was the SmackDown King. The very first ZX-10 off, we called it the Widowmaker because it was a brute machine with very little, like, well, no electronics, and it had ridiculous power, and it was super light, and it slayed many people. And I believe this bike's gonna do the same. It might just take its crown, snatch its crown, <laughs> snatch its crown back from the S1000 Double R and the Pinagalle V4. I see that sort of potential in this machine. Very smooth auto blipper. I can't wait to get these tires scuffed in so I can do what Jonathan Ray does to corners like this. <laughs> this machine is impressive. That Aprilia is going to get a smackdown from this machine once I get a few more miles on it. <laughs> and the sound, the howling sound that it makes when you give it some juice. This is just amazing. This machine definitely does not have foam in its intake like some other bikes we know.
Oh man, if you guys are looking for a machine that you can jump on, ride it for four miles, and get some excitement in your life, then this is the bike for you. This is much more exciting than the Honda Fireblade out of the box. I'm gonna tell you just like that, out of the box, I mean, I'm gonna compare it. The Honda Fire Fireblade was my last, uh, most recent new motorcycle. And <laughs> the feelings are totally, totally different. This thing is just a savage, out of the box. And when my son, Evan from EGR Performance, gets his maggot-infested hands on this machine, and extracts even more power, removes even more restrictions, and for some people, butchers their bikes. It's going to be even more savagery. But for today, fresh out of the box, this bike is amazing. This bike is fun, this bike is comfortable, this bike looks great. And this bike, for the money, is a great value. Cruise control, heated grips as a dealer installed option, you can't beat it. Okay, so now we have 28 miles on the bike and um, after riding it for a while I can definitely feel the restrictions on those motorcycles. Although it's not as severe as the Fireblade, this bike is restricted as well unfortunately. But um, I'm sure the good folks that do these tunings on the motorcycles will be able to unlock this bike here and, and, uh, and release the full power. But here's an example, you're cruising in second gear. 60 miles, uh, 60 miles an hour or so and you... Yeah, that's a bit of a restriction. But again, it's not super bad. I mean, the Honda is just like dead um, below 8,000 RPM. This bike still has some juice, but I can't wait for it to have more. And I can't wait to smack that Honda around, which is going to happen. It really is, trust me. Even with this cheater full exhaust, it's going to get smacked. Yeah, we got the exhaust smoking. Yeah, this filthy thing's not going to be on there for long. Next week, we're going to install a full Akrapovich exhaust system on this beast. It's going to be amazing. Max having a great time vlogging. He's enjoying that bike quite a bit. You're going to get smacked. You're going to get smacked. <laughs> They have boosted catfish just enjoying the Aprilia as well. Yeah, look at that smoke coming out of there. Pretty, pretty cool. You know, I'm jumping the Aprilia. I haven't ridden this baby in a long time. I love the adjustable steering damper. That's one thing that the Z doesn't have. It's an automatic damper. But having a full Ulean's adjustable one, I think it's really cool to have. And of course, it's great to be back on a motorcycle with an exhaust. Man, you can hear the rumble. Seating position on this thing, totally different. <laughs> Everything's different on this bike. Everything's in a much more aggressive. Oh, but that growl, that V4 growl. Gotta love it. So we're continuing to log more miles into the fabulous 2021 Z. And I tell you folks, they addressed every single issue that I had with the 2011 through 2020 ZX10R. First of all, this seating position, extremely comfortable. Reminds me again of the S1000 RR, which is the benchmark of comfort for the super sport motorcycle segment. This bike is right there with it. Me being six foot three, 225 pounds, I feel right at home and comfort, comfortable in this cockpit. The second issue I had with the previous generation ZX10 was the fit and finish. Uh, when riding the previous bikes, I used to see a bunch of wiring and stuff like that. It just didn't look as buttoned up and premium finished uh, as I expected from some of the other motorcycles. Well, now this is very, very, very nicely done. Everything is enclosed in the cockpit. You don't see wires dangling about or anything silly. And even on the right and left-hand side, you have these beautiful plastic uh, fairings here that we know our good friends at full six carbon are going to make carbon fiber panels for that and it's going to be absolutely epic i'm going to reach out to them through our good buddy miami manny at mortal million and get that process started and i know that when they do make the carbon 
it's going to come all the way up in the cockpit here and it's even going to surround this beautiful LED shift light that's prominently placed where it should be right in the middle right above it where you can clearly see it it's going off several times already for me today and it works absolutely amazing and it's fully adjustable the third thing was that uh, on the previous generation the front cowling was very very small uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for taller riders like myself to tuck and get under that bubble as Evan calls it when racing that's been addressed as well the front fairing and the front cowling is taller now and even when they make a double bubble windscreen uh, from WRS it's even going to provide an additional amount of protection for us tall riders you guys have heard me rant and tirade about the instrument cluster of the previous generation how filth it was now totally beautiful thin film transistor TFT gauges here on this bike adjustable in several ways you can even customize it to your own liking and name it uh, for yourself if you'd like very very beautiful very very beautiful indeed so uh, in the headlights I mean uh, it was a shame for that bike to have uh, incandescent headlights for all those years now these beautiful light emitting diode LED headlights are amazing and when you uh, you know use the high beams they're, they're beautiful as well but next to us <laughs> our good buddy Mac loves that uh, fire blade that he's riding <laughs> uh, stay tuned to my next video because of course we're going to engage in smackdowns and I guarantee you that this 2021 Z is going to smack that fire blade all around the filthy highway streets even though that motorcycle as you can clearly see has a full of Kravlovich exhaust from Miami Mania Moto Million titanium with a carbon fiber collector this bike in stock form is going to spank that bike all up and down this highway so stay tuned for that video I'm so impressed with this motorcycle that I'm going to purchase a 2021 ZX10 double R for myself this one I'm going to offer to you guys as part of the new bike build series it's going to be included with the 2021 Fireblade one lucky person will have the option to pick and choose between these two motorcycles it's going to be a very very tough decision to make because that bike's beautiful the fit and finish refinement's great uh, this one is too this one's super fast it's going to be tough and of course we're going to put carbon fiber and uh, we have an Ekravinovich exhaust being installed into this motorcycle next week a full titanium exhaust it's going to have Rotobox boost carbon fiber wheels with green accents that one's going to have Rotobox bullet carbon fiber wheels with red with red accents this one's going to have green accents that one's going to be red but both these bikes are going to be amazing by the time we are ready to offer them to you for supporting the new bike build series information on how you might be able to win one of these two motorcycles down below in the description if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button if you're already a subscriber tap that bell and you will get notified when new content is uploaded you know the model journalists that i work with from time to time they always tell me eve you need to have one or two things that you dislike about a, a product when you're reviewing it um just so that you don't come across as being an uber fanboy well look guys i love everything about this motorcycle but if there's one thing that i have to nitpick and uh, be a dick about and say oh that sucks the motorcycle does not have self-canceling turn signals uh, all of the premium bikes, such as the Aprilia, S1000, the Ducatis, and even the new Fireblade have self-canceling turn signals. This motorcycle doesn't. I don't give a damn. It's an awesome bike. It's an amazing bike. And I can't wait to collect my ZX10 Double R. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for viewing the videos. Make sure you tune in to the next installment where I'll be smacking that bike all up and down the highway system. And hey, if I'm lucky, I'm going to try my luck I get that Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory as well and see if I can smack my good buddy Boosted Catfish around too. Stay tuned. Thank you guys for viewing. We'll catch you next time. These bikes are amazing. These roads are great. This weather's great. You're going to get smacked. You're going to get smacked.